Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Let's continue. So we spent about 30 minutes trying to get to this monkey head and trying to move the story along in any way. I want to actually come over here because we know they changed this totem reference. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the others look different too. No, it's only the Sam and Max one. The response is the same. The difference is, are they referencing uh, Sam and Max in the old version, where they're referencing Dave the Tentacle in the new version? Which I suppose Lucas Arts hasn't done a Sam and Max remaster in ever. Uh, I don't think Double Fine has either. It, the only ones that have done any Sam and Max remasters or remakes actually was Telltale. Uh, so it, that's Sam and Max Save the World. Hmm. So there must be some reason for that. I'm not sure what it is. You would see. I think that's it. The monkey is no longer looking, following me, so we now know for certain that we did everything with the monkey and we got it to follow us by feeding it four bananas and we're not going to get any more bananas. And I'll double click here on the edge just to speed this up. So I took a totem from the worship site. And I'm going to give it right back to the cannibals who are going to put it right back at the worship site. But they're going to decide to not... To let me not eat me. <laughs> because of that. We've been through this four different times. And the final door is this digital door. It do won't change after this point. So we've seen all the content by doing very repetitive actions. What now? He's just a what now. Don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Okay. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. So this is well. Lemonhead here. So I have to give this totem to the cannibals. Hey. Wow. This is impressive. Lemonhead. Take a look at this. Hmm. Ooh, that's nice. And it says made by Lemonhead. Just hmm. like one of mine. We should take this to the great monkey. Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. So the question becomes, are those actual, the, actually their heads, or are those masks? And we never get the answer, I don't think, so just not question it. I talked several episodes ago about the idea of the fictional cannibal that really represents nothing Boy ever. My banana picker back. Uh, but will they give it to me? They want the monkey head key back first. Ha! That'll be the day. Don't you think they're being unreasonable? It's not as though I'm asking for a lot. So I'm going to go give him the banana picker in a second. So, yeah, I don't know who it really hurts to have fictional cannibals that l have oh, fake heads on this fake Caribbean island. They want the monkey uh, head key back first. I think ah, in a game like this day. where every character don't is pretty farcical anyways, the cannibals are way I more farcical than, say, Herman Toothrot or Guybrush Threepwood here, but... Uh, it's kind of a shame you don't have more pirate stories because I think I we would see back. some more interesting me? ideas like this. Uh, the even the Pirates of the Caribbean first. movie series, though, has really don't settled into doing the same thing over and over again. 
uh, and they failed to catch enough people's attention. So I'm gonna give him the banana picker, and he's hey, hopefully thanks. gonna say something. I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. Hmm. So now we have the monkey head key, which is a cotton you ear swab. Which, by the way, you're not supposed to put in your ears at all. I don't see anything special about it. In fact, it's it's a pretty useless thing that people just colloquially think is useful. Uh, so the. I would practically say they should be made illegal. They do more harm than good. But convincing every single person that they do that uh, is difficult. Particularly if you have earwax problems or ear problems, uh, you are it's it's really difficult to fix that there's a, uh, a chemical called uh, Debrox that I recommend it's you put a few drops in your ear and it it dissolves your wax and that's pretty much it and they give you suction bulbs to clean it out and that's the, the right way to do it and it, even that sometimes doesn't work depending on if you have a major problem. But don't use Q-tips, don't use cotton tips. And I don't want to get too gross, so I won't go any further than that. So we're going to move off the top of the island into the final section of the game, and we There's might no just breeze. In. Uh, we might just... Oh, we use it in the air, of course. After the entire conversation, we might beat the game here in the next 30 minutes. Depends. Gross. And then let's compare that to what the what it used to look like. Hmm. Oh, it just goes. Well, interesting. The head is seems from this perspective it would imply that the head is a complete 180 to the chest of the rest of this uh, monkey as if this was a giant actual monkey uh, just because of the perspective because we saw in the previous screen the head was over here facing this direction and now in this screen we see the head is uh, the neck and the spines and the, and the chest and everything are uh, are on this side facing that way. That's just really bad perspective maintaining. You, what, what's it called when you cross the horizon line? Like in in perspective, there's a horizon line that is the front of the screen you never want to cross or flip that uh, that's some moderately advanced technique I have uh, a feeling that, that you need there will be mushrooms hmm. the idea is the video game programmers should know that interesting that there's little devil horns here and not in the previous version so we see these mushrooms, they don't have anything to do with anything. In fact, I am i wouldn't be surprised if I'm just going to walk over a couple of places and, and then we'll be into the final section. There, well, actually, there could be a puzzle here and then a secondary puzzle uh, later on. And so this is supposed to be hell. Then hell is just directly below Monkey Island. 
That would be kind of interesting, an idea. Gross. There's a heart. And so there's a gap. Hmm. And when we look at the old animation versus the new animation. Like, I never had a a hook shot or hook swing or anything like that. That There was an implication that we might get that at some point. It's called How to Get a Leg Up in Treasure Hunting. Hmm. Use this with heart. Yeah, I'd rather not touch it. Use this. Nothing to look at here. Use skull. That seem to work. So I see a heart, but there's no ground to click on. There's no rope to swing on. Do I walk backwards? Oh, it did change. So, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Let's see. What should we use on the face? Use skull. That doesn't seem to work. Use this on the face. I can't reach it. Hmm. I can't reach it. So apparently I am just gonna need to wander back and forth. Interesting. Bloody hands. I can't reach it. And eyeballs. Yeah. I guess I should be looking each time. And there's no jumping. And let's see, this this area looks different. Hmm. Creepy. Creepy bloody hands. We can't say pick up the yeah, bloody I'd hands. Not touch it. So we've got another one of these Lost Forest setups. And we probably could consider doing the the Secret to the Hidden Treasure dance. Because I think we still have that. Let's see. Um, is it this note? Look at this. Attention pirates of melee. No, so we did lose Your that. Governor note. is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. Hmm. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. Now if a modern game was to do something like this, I would have to be rather critical of it and say it's just wasting the player's time. And this is definitely just wasting the player's time too, but I can definitely see what's what the ideas are here. Uh, can I walk this way now? Because it changed. No, this way is blocked off, which means I have to walk back this way, and it changed again. So, well, do I want to look at the heart? Hellish. Hmm. And there's a big nose. I can't reach it. And going back this way is always wrong. Hmm. 
Well, let's walk this way and see if anything over here changed. Maybe that's the trick we've missed. But how far back would I have to walk? There's no door. I could leave the entire area, perhaps. Hmm. So I may have to use a hint here, but I want to give it a little bit of a try. I feel like the game probably wanted me to learn and memorize the solution to to the hidden forest and instead I just kind of wandered the hindered forest and found the solution Sickening. and because I found the solution without learning the steps I now don't remember the steps disgusting alright so the, the question is what are the safe exits and what are the unsafe exits? Can we just walk back and forth and change things? Hmm. It seems like we can. But I don't know to what level. Because eventually I have to go through one of these doorways. Hmm. Well, we know it's not the eyeballs. I will try this and see where this goes. Hopefully it doesn't kick us out. Although I think it very well might. the heart and there's nothing over here and it feels certainly like we should be able to figure figure something out here I can't reach it now I've got two eyeballs that I can't reach I can't reach it hmm heads so I feel like we're getting closer Ooh, how nauseating hmm. I can't help but feel like you're just supposed to wander heads nose don't ever go back that way though that's always going to be a reset. Hands. So let's go up this direction. It seems like this should be the right doorway since this doorway in particular is pretty consistently not uh, see I can't reach it there's definitely some dead ends definitely some dead ends cluster of eyeballs sick if I have to look at much more of this kind of stuff. Hmm. The problem here is sometimes you go through this caves and it knocks you out. It knocks you out of where you what you'd want to do. I think I'm gonna prefer things on the left here. But 
that just resets it. Alright, time for a hint. Walk in here. And let's walk here, because if we go back there, we know we're going to lose anyways. And give me a hint. You need to give go to the cannibals, see if they can help you navigate through. Seriously? How was I supposed to figure that one out at all? So there's no way to figure this out. The this is undoubtedly the game wasting the player's time. Uh, and previously in this own game, he said, "I'm not going to walk through the." forest without some kind of guide and he just refused to do it and now he's willing to do it and let you wander around even if you don't know the answer so I'm hoping that the cannibals are out here but they aren't so maybe they will get lucky and they'll be over here nope so then I have to go back to the beach, use the boat one more time, row the boat to the cannibal village, and well to the beach on the other side of the island, and then walk to the cannibal village, then ask them for help. They did just say if you needed any help we'll help you, but putting them far away from where you need to be and just being that obtuse is problematic. Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Yes. Well, actually, there is something. Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? I'm looking for somebody. I need... Shit. Let's go with this one. I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? Trademark? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. That's what Herman Toothrot said. That's okay. The people I'm looking for aren't civilized. I'm looking for 30 dead guys and a woman. I'm looking for 30 dead guys and one woman. I don't think I want to hear any more about it. <laughs> Wait, maybe he's talking about those dead pirates. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs. Wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. Interesting. What's in your standard potion of exorcism? What's in your standard potion of exorcism? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But the Chuck stole the whole thing. Hmm. Where... Where is he hiding it is the more direct question. But I kind of want to say this. The Chuck came in here and stole your root? What a cad. And I suppose stealing bananas is any better. Hmm. Where is he hiding it? He's in a place beneath this island. Somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. Yeah, we've seen them. A hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. Hmm. Sounds neat. Can 
I see it? <laughs> no, we lost the key. So we've it already done fun. all of this, well, but the game's forcing us to on the island. to Attitude have the conversation the anyways. It back. We're keeping I can't believe I thought I was actually going to finish the game here. I'm off to find the chuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find LeChuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without the... The what? Hey, Ixnay on the Edhay of the Navigator Nay. Uh, the what? The head of the Nothing. Navigator. Nothing. What's the Edhay of the Navigator Nay? I see he is baffled by our native dialect. Good. <laughs> we could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. Is it the skull? We have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well. Hmm. So. Either this is the what head. A cute little skull. Or there's another one somewhere. Hmm. I suppose what I could try to do is give Why? It's empty. Give the skull to the cannibal natives. Oh, we couldn't take that. You've already given us so much. So, let's go ahead and hint again. Do you have something the cannibals would get... Do you have something that, to give the cannibals to get a new head? Let's see, what if we give him this instead? We don't need it anymore. Ah, the key to the great monkey. Thank you very much. Let's see. What if we give this to them? Ah, one of those newfangled magnetic compasses. Mm, too high tech. Yeah, give me a good old fashioned disembodied head any day. Hmm. So, what's the hint want us to do? You have some leaflets that might help. Serious? Oh! If I gave them the leaflets of navigation, maybe they would. Give me the head. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Oh. Yes, I suppose we could give you this now. Oh, I see. Thanks. Boy, is that odd. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? Gross. We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Looks even grosser in the old version. Oh, look! I think he likes you. Just follow his nose, and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. So this area of the game is pretty consistently the section where I've had trouble every time I've played this game. Don't quite remember exactly what I needed to do. So this pamphlet probably is going to come into play at some point. It's called How to Get a Leg Up in Treasure Hunting. So if we need to get a leg... Uh, we'll probably need that. It's called How to Arm Yourself in Sea Battle. And that one's probably to get an arm. 
So, what would have helped a lot is if I had gotten those three pamphlets a lot closer. So if I had found them after I had been locked up uh, in, that would have made a lot more sense. Because there's a lot of stuff here, like the minutes, the note, the business card, uh, the compass. None of that really seems like something I should be uh should be wary uh worrying about at some point no i need to around. put on this necklace on but that was most definitely a waste of 30 minutes and good thing for the hint system i really do love this game for the nostalgia but Honestly, if somebody was new to point-and-click adventure games, th this might be a little bit too difficult, even with the hint system, to keep people's attention. And and there's definitely some just video game design problems from a game this old. That a remake of this game in the form of Tales of Monkey Island. Hopefully, when we get around to playing that, hopefully we will find that that actually fixes a lot of those problems uh, and makes it a more linear thing, uh, less likely for you to get confused. Games like this, point-and-click adventures in general, thrived on wasting the player's time so they felt like they were getting their money's worth. Uh, and in the modern days, that's just not how people want to experience video games, usually. Maybe there's a few people that do, but I personally don't want to, to experience games like that. Uh, even if I did want to experience games like that, I would do it in something closer to a game like Borderlands or Destiny, something that was a loot game or maybe a MOBA or World of Warcraft, something where you could... Uh, at least see numbers constantly going up and have a lot of variety. We went 30 minutes and only went 1% up. And it seems so strange because to my memory, it does feel like in the next 30 minutes I could win the game and be done. But I just think, uh, according to how much it thinks I is done, I've probably just forgotten the last part of the game. Uh, at this point, the characters showing up on the right of this menu should all be familiar. You've, I believe, seen them all. Uh, I don't particularly like the way the menu does this, though. It, it takes half of the screen uh, just to display little characters on the map when, it, in all honesty, the menu should take the full screen always because that's the important thing and if somebody has a very low resolution or a very small monitor that's going to be a problem it's not likely that something like that would happen but it, you should just design that way also if you have an incredibly high resolution like 4k and you put a menu like this the text might get really really small uh, which then still needs the ability to scale and to take up the full screen as much as you can. Anyways, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.